What's up everybody? We are back with another dislike video and we're going to be getting into the Esper intro for by Louis Lee, the White Snake. All right, so of course guys, if you do find that you like this video, let your boy know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more dislike content. So for today's video, uh, we're gonna be getting into that, but make sure you stay tuned because I got another video that might help you out with your progression coming today as well. So that's pretty much going to be that. Now let's get into this video here, okay? Let's see, let's see what they got going on. All I want to do is protect my people. Okay. Yo, this is a three star? She looks really sick for a three star. Yo. Okay. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty insane. Okay, that was a little short, but it was sweet. It was sweet. Okay, so we're we're gonna take a look at her skills. Uh, I know I went over them yesterday, but now that we have the actual Esper introduction, we'll be able to actually look at them. Okay, so uh now we have her S1 hiss, so this deals damage to an enemy with a chance to inflict silence. Um, then two, let's see, with her S2, uh, the shedding passive. So the spells a random debuff at the start of each turn. Dude, this is a three star. I don't know if I realized that yesterday, but she is a shimmer unit. So I guess there's that, uh, but they are trying to make it a little bit easier for us to obtain shimmer units. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked to see another one coming into the fray. Um, and she looks really clean. She looks really clean. Um, and then with her S3, so uh, incorporeal. So this launches five attacks against random enemies with a chance of stealing a buff from the target. This, uh, this attack prioritizes new targets and deals reduced damage when attacking the same target. So this is kind of, it's kind of weird, but it almost seems like, yeah, like this ability you literally want to have multiple units on the field. So she actually might be good in like, PVP settings and things of like, cause, cause certain like stages, like uh, for example, um, Kronos or a Pep, where it's only the like same three enemies at the last stage, uh, and really you're only focusing one. Um, she, yeah, she might be better for like PVP, and I kind of am liking that they're mixing this up with rarities because this means that even in terms um, for free to play players, we're gonna have a whole bunch of variety in terms of what we can utilize that doesn't necessarily have to be natural five star to do well or perform well or to have different strategies or different compositions. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what she's going to be bringing to the table in the game when she comes out because man, this this is like insane, Lilith. I, I don't know, she's, she's pretty sick. And the beginning of the legend, that's that's such a such a cool, cool freaking punchline there for her. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to be by Lu 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 Lee. God, God, what is wrong with my tongue today? But <laughs> that's pretty much going to be that for her. Uh, let me know what you guys think though, because she looks pretty sick. 